Developing projects often require additional material assignments or modifications in order to make them presentation ready. Fuser makes the material modification and application process fast and easy with the Material Browser. To access my Material Browser, I can simply click on an object. In my Element Properties window, the object's render materials are displayed. If my object has multiple materials, the material on the surface I clicked on will display at the top of the list, highlighted in orange. Clicking on any of my object materials opens the Material Browser. Here I can make material modifications as well as create custom materials. To change my material to another already existing material, I can simply select a different material from the list on the left and the material will instantly update onto my model. To apply that material to all instances of my selected object, I can check the box labeled Switch Material for All Instances. If I have a specific material in mind, I can use the search bar above the material list to search for a specific material name. Once found, I can click that material to activate it. I can also make adjustments to existing materials using the material settings on the right. Here I can adjust my abstract color, which is visible only in abstract render mode, my render color, my material's transparency, reflectivity, glossiness, gloss intensity, and the color texture blend percentage. I can even add self-illumination of any color to a material for cases such as illuminated exit signs and mismodeled Revit lights. To do this, I simply select my material, click on the self-illumination color bar, and select my self-illumination color. Once I've selected my color, I can use the input box or the slider to adjust my glow amount. For an added effect, I can also add mirror reflectivity to any material on an object-by-object -object basis. To do this, I'm going to select an object and click on the material I want to add reflectivity to. In the Material Browser, I'm going to check the Apply Mirror Reflectivity box. Now I'll use the Reflectivity slider to adjust the amount of reflectivity from a low shine to full mirror. Sometimes I want to make minor material changes to one object without altering the look of other objects that use the same material. To do this, I first need to locate the material I want to make those changes to. Once my material is selected, I'm going to click on the Duplicate Selected Material button in my Material Browser. On the newly duplicated material, I can make any adjustments I need. The copied material will retain the changes without affecting objects using the original material. Finally, there are times when existing materials just won't cut it. I need to create a new material. To create a completely new material, I'm going to click the Create New Material button in my Material Browser. Next, I'll name my material and click OK. The new material will be created without textures or bump maps. To add a custom texture, I'm going to scroll down to the bottom of my material settings and click on the texture box. In the texture editor below, I can add a custom texture by clicking the image square. Next, I'll navigate to where my custom texture is stored. Now I'll select it and click OK. The new texture will be loaded into my fuser material. Now that my texture is loaded, I can adjust the tiling using my texture alignment modifiers. Here I can adjust my texture scaling, offset, and rotation. I can repeat this process to add bump or normal maps and cut out alphas as desired. Once I've finished creating my custom material, I'll click the OK button to confirm. Please note that the texture interface can also be used to modify or replace existing textures on other materials as well.